Okay, we are in book two of Essential Elements, and we are looking at Trumpet Voluntary on page three. This is a duet, very straightforward, melody only, and we're going to play the A line and the B line. Okay, and you can learn the individual lines and then combine and then play along with maybe set of headphones and play along when I'm playing the A and vice versa on B. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, key of F, one flat, and it's B. Okay, first vowel. First ending, we play, go back to the beginning, play the first two measures again, skip the first, play the second. All right, and there are two slurs total in this entire duet, F to G. And then we do F to G, F to G again. So actually there will be three. And on the B line, we have an A to a B flat. All right, and that's gonna be low, the low A. Same fingering, but just drop the jaw, keep those teeth apart so you'll have good quality of sound. So the melody of letter A is simply the melody of trumpet voluntary, and it sounds like this. And notice that I slowed down a little bit on the end, I'll put a slight retardando on there so that it would sound more final, okay? Like a real piece of music, not just mechanical. All right, letter B, I'm gonna start down with a low A. Okay, so you wanna go back and add those uh, or actually play along with those. Let's let's do that again. I'll set the metronome and I'll play letter A while you play letter B. Alright, here we go. This is letter A. One, two, three. Very important to keep all of the quarter notes the same length. So if you look at that second measure of the first ending in the A part and the B part, make sure you take a breath after the first quarter note, but don't let that affect the length of that quarter note. So you're still going to play this, the full length. Don't do this. That's a common mistake among young players. Take in the breath so fast that it does not affect the length of the quarter note. All right, so it's a real quick sip of air, all right? Preferably to the lower part of your lungs and not up. So don't, when you inhale, don't raise your shoulders. Keep everything nice and relaxed, all right? All right, here's letter B. And you can play letter A. And one, two, three. Okay, there are other places that you can take breaths, but the general rule is not to take a breath in a place in, in such a fashion that it would actually affect the length of the notes, okay, or the phrasing. So practice this. This is good, uh, a good example uh, for phrasing, for breathing, for dynamics, possibly some uh, the retardando on the end to make it sound more uh, musical, all right? So you always want to make your uh, even if you're playing an exercise like this, an excerpt, you want to make it sound musical, all right? That's the most important thing is to make it sound musical because uh, things need to move forward, okay? If the notes are going up, 
the scale, you need to crescendo slightly. If they're coming down the scale, you need to decrescendo slightly. Don't, don't keep everything on level. It's, it, music is an emotional uh, experience and uh, for the performer and also for the listener. So that needs to be your goal is to play with uh, musicality, all right? The notes will come, all right? Play very musically. Okay, stay tuned, have a good day, and uh, I'll see you next time.